Hello viewers, how are you doing today? Today I will be teaching you a very interesting way of animating a truck. Look, you can see that the truck is moving and its tires are also moving. They are rotating. And this is the new thing that I will be teaching today. So let's get started. Create a new project. Remove Scratchy the cat and choose a backdrop. I will be choosing colorful city here. We will be using all the resources that are present in Scratch. So I will be choosing a sprite that is the food truck. Put it in position, reduce the size to 90. And now we have to remove its tires because the truck will be moving and the tires will be rotating. So we will be removing the tires and making them separate sprites. Make sure when we start removing the tires from the truck that this convert to bitmap is visible. This is vector form in which we can actually remove the parts of the truck. If I press on the convert to bitmap button, uh, this whole picture will become a bitmap and we will not be able to move the separate part. So make sure that you don't accidentally press this button. So how to remove the tires? Just go to select and very carefully drag and select the tire. Just copy it and then go to choose a sprite, click on paint and then just paste it and drag it to the center. We have to do this because then the tire's rotation will be smoother. Now we have to do something different. We have to add a little bit of shading effect to the tire. We have to do this because uh, we want to see that the tire is actually rotating when the animation takes place. If the tire is uniform throughout, we will not be able to see the rotation. So you can see that these windows are shaded and nowadays most images have a little bit of shading effect. So just copy the circle in the middle of the tire and just paste it. It has a purple outline, so we will have to remove it. So press that red slash button and it will be removed. And now we have a white circle, so we have to give it a grayish tone. So just go to fill, manipulate all these color saturation and brightness and you will get a grayish tone. Once that is done, we have to remove a little bit of this circle so that it has a crescent shape. So I reduce the size and now I will use the eraser tool to remove some of the circle to give it a crescent shape. So choose the eraser tool. This is too big so I will be uh, making it a little smaller and just erase some part of the circle so that we are left with a crescent shape and just drag the crescent shape the gray crescent shape to the middle of the tire and now we will be able to see when the tire is actually rotating. Once we are done with the tire, now we have to remove the actual tires of the, the original tires of the truck. So just drag carefully, select the tire and delete it. As you can see, I am having a little bit of problem with this, with the second tire because when I try to select it, some other part of the truck is selected too. So I will be using the eraser tool to delete this tire. And now just duplicate the sprite, the tire sprite, because we need two tires and just name them appropriately. So now our truck will be moving towards the right and our tires will also be moving towards the right but they will be rotating at the same time. 
So let's write the code for the truck. When green flag is clicked, we have to set up the stage, the scene, that is, the colorful city should be shown and the truck should be shown with this costume and we have to capture this exact position of the truck. This go to has the current position of the truck in it and now if I just move the truck to a different position and press the green flag, the truck will be brought back to its stored position that we made sure that we had using the go to lock and we will do the same thing for the back and the front tire that is capture the current position because this is the right position at this point so if I just remove everything and then press the green flag everything will be brought back to its original position now we have to write down the code just add a little bit of delay after the scene is set. Wait one second and now we have to add some sort of engine sound to the truck. And if I just go to choose a sound and write down engine, I will be able to find it. This engine sound seems to be quite long so I will be removing some part of it from the beginning. You will have to check when you run the animation how long you want the engine sound to be. So start the sound engine and we have to add a loop. So everything will be uh, happening in a loop uh, as I told you in my animation before that animations normally happen in a loop in which we do a little bit of movement and add a little bit of delay after that. The delay is needed because the human eye cannot capture or see sudden movements. So we will be adding a little bit of delay in a loop which will repeat 80 times. And then change X by 3. So the truck will move a little bit to the right and then a delay 80 times. And a similar thing will be happening to the front tire and the back tire but there will be an added code to it of rotation. So we have to add the delay that we added to the food truck to of 1 seconds and then the, then the loop size is also 80 just like the food truck and this is the new thing that we are doing that is setting the rotation style. So I will be choosing the left right rotation in which the tire will be moving on its own axis that is around itself and not around the screen. If I choose it to be all around then it will be going around the screen. What will be basically happening here is that the tire will rotate a little bit then there will be a delay and then it will change x by 3 similar to the food truck. So if we go to the motion blocks. We will find turn right to 15 degrees, we will be changing it to 60 degrees and then we will be adding a little bit of delay so that the human eye is able to see this rotation. So 0.01 seconds delay similar to the food truck and then the same thing that we did with the food truck that is change x by 3 and if we drag it to the back tire. we will get the code copied there too and you, as you can see it was copied but it was a little uh, on top of each other so I just had to fix it and now both the tires code is there and you if I press the green flag the code is working beautifully and the tires are actually rotating and you can do more with this truck you can add smoke to it and uh, breaking sound and I will be giving the link to my own project in the video description so that you can have an idea of what you can do with this animation. So I hope you like this video. In my next video I will be teaching you something new and interesting about Scratch. Do share it with your friends and family. Thank you and goodbye.